All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. It certainly has been a minute since I've made one on the channel, but I am going to be installing my new exhaust today. It's been needing to be done for a very long time. I've just never gotten around to it because I'm lazy, to be honest with you. But as you can see, the car has completely changed. So what the heck happened? Well, I haven't made a video in a while because I didn't do anything for a very long time. But that recently changed and I wanted to kind of showcase all of the stuff that has changed and what I've done. And so that's what today is gonna to be for the first part of this video. And then we'll install the exhaust in the second part of this video. Pretty straightforward mod list. I'm sure all of you guys have done an exhaust before. Did I say mod list? I meant to say mod. <laughs> Pretty straightforward mod, I'm sure a lot of you guys have done exhaust before, so it shouldn't be anything too difficult. So um, why don't we start off with talking about the actual car itself and what I've changed, because a lot has changed. Okay, so what has changed with the car? Well, a lot. So you can see I actually did my first ever vinyl wrap project. I've never wrapped anything in my life before, but I am a big fan of Keiichi Tsuchiya's AE86, and I loved that white on green look. And so what I tried to do was actually replicate that look with my Civic. So I repainted the whole car. Uh, it actually has a much better finish than it used to. It's a little dirty right now, um, but I completely <laughs> sprayed this car myself in my backyard. I didn't film it because uh, to be honest, I was a little fed up with making YouTube videos. I needed to take a break, but I think it actually came out really, really nice. I was quite impressed with how I uh, did that. And then uh, I cleaned up the wheels as well. They were pretty dirty. Of course, you guys saw the uh, brakes video. If you haven't watched that, be sure to check that one out. So we have new brakes on the car. The wheels are nice and shiny again. I wrapped the hood for my first time really really impressed with how it came out uh i am in the shade right now so you can't see it but essentially if you get up really close you can see it has a carbon fiber pattern underneath it and it shines really really nicely in the sun so i was super happy with that pretty proud of myself for that one i tied up a lot of loose ends like this um this fender guard was hanging forever and i kind of fixed that up a little bit it's not perfect i could probably do a little bit better of a job there and yeah, it kind of just changed up the look of the car and made it uh, a little bit more me. You can see I have these lovely Bochi the Rock stickers on the back. I absolutely love that show as a musician myself. Um, and so yeah, just a pretty um, nice overhaul with the car in general. Things have changed quite a bit. But uh, as we have this box right here, this is what today's focus is. Uh, there is no exhaust on my car at the moment. I ended up bringing this car to a shop to get um, the exhaust replaced. And what ended up happening was the exhaust fell off. That's right, I'm not kidding. The work that they did, it just literally fell off. And so if we go underneath the car, if I can get down in here, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but they, um, essentially welded in a straight pipe and you can see this is where it goes over the lower control arms and it just completely fell off there's no muffler <laughs> and so uh i don't want to be driving around a straight pipe civic with no exhaust and so uh, as a temporary solution i bought the cheapest exhaust i could find on ebay that looked somewhat decent so this is a dna motoring exhaust i honestly have never heard of that brand in my life it looks pretty okay. It's probably gonna sound like a tin can, but I just needed to quiet this thing down because it is so loud. It is unbelievably obnoxious how loud this car is. And so I had to quiet it down. So <laughs> today's exhaust install, hopefully everything lines up. I don't know what they cut out and what they didn't. I had a look under there the other day. Everything seems to be the same. And so hopefully everything just goes well. Let's jack the car up. Uh, let's actually, I should probably show you guys this exhaust first and take it out of the box. Okay, well, uh, there it is laid out. So it's got this uh, cool little burnt tip at the end with a silencer in it. I'm gonna leave the silencer in there because I honestly prefer to have my cars pretty quiet. I don't like when they're really, really loud. And this car has been so loud for such a long time. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm hoping that it'll at least quiet it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's actually, I mean, for 150 bucks, whatever I paid for it, it's not that bad, but I can almost guarantee that there's probably nothing inside of that muffler. <laughs> and this uh, makeshift resonator that's over here is probably hollow 
as well. I doubt that there's really anything in there. So uh, it might still be a little loud and it's probably going to be very raspy, but that's it laid out on the floor. Um, considering from the looks that I've had underneath, this should go somewhat smoothly. Those are famous last words, but uh, yeah, I guess let's jack the car up and let's get this thing thrown in there. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let me start the car beforehand so we can do a little before and after. I would be a terrible YouTuber if I didn't do that. I almost forgot. So uh, let me set the camera down and I'll start the car and you guys can hear it before and after. obnoxiously loud. Also, uh, let's step a little bit further back. You can see it actually hangs quite low, but unfortunately I had to use the original uh, exhaust that I already had because the one that came in the box, which is over in here, this pipe does not clear my fuel tank for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I tried everything. It does not clear the fuel tank. And in fact, it wasn't even close. So I had to use the original uh, piping that I already have connected with the muffler, which is whatever, honestly. <laughs> um, it's probably gonna rattle uh, because the things don't line up perfectly. But at the end of the day, I gotta be honest, I'm really not bothered. I don't care all that much. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll just drive it around a little bit. How about we go POV style? I haven't done that in a long time. All right, well, I am going to drive it around. I'm still figuring out whether or not I wanna keep the silencer in there. I honestly have no idea. All right. It's been a long time since I have done one of these videos. Let's get out of the driveway first before we start. It sounds like a tin can. Well, it's definitely quieter than it was before, that's for sure. rattles right now it's much quieter than before I'm super super happy about that I don't really care if it rattles or not I just wanted it to be much quieter than it was because it was so obnoxiously loud this I'm cruising at 2,000 rpm fourth gear right now way quieter than before which is good so thumbs up on that um, the rattling I think is coming from the silencer so I might take the silencer out it's probably gonna make the car a little bit louder but honestly not that much louder the muffler is actually doing quite a bit of work i already tested the um, muffler by itself without the silencer in it and it was actually pretty okay so um yeah for 140 bucks it's a temporary fix uh <laughs> it cost more to have the shop weld in a straight pipe and they did not do a very good job so uh that's why a lot of this stuff didn't line up. They had cut out uh, some pretty crucial parts that I needed, including mounting points and stuff. So yeah, I guess um, we'll just drive it around a little bit and kind of see what it sounds like. The one thing I am concerned about is how low the muffler hangs. It hangs pretty low compared to the rest of the exhaust. So it might scrape a little bit on stuff, but it wasn't too low, so it was about maybe I, i'm just gonna take a guess here but six to eight inches above the bottom of the wheel so there is at least some clearance but you never know with this type of stuff and and all that so it is kind of interesting <laughs> just reeks like exhaust in here. 
I don't know, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I think that I'm gonna take this silencer out. I just, it's just rattling way too much. I'm sure maybe you could hear it a little bit on the video, but it is really, really, really rattling. And uh, I secured it down pretty tight, so uh, I would rather just <laughs> do without it and uh, not have that. If you can hear that right there, that obnoxious rattling is from the silencer. So uh, probably just gonna take it out to be honest with you. So uh, one thing I really wanted to talk about was uh, where did I go? So <laughs> you can obviously see that uh, if you go onto my channel, I kind of disappeared for like two months. And well, to be honest with you, I just needed a break from YouTube. I have been making YouTube videos for like 10 years on many, many different channels. Some of the channels have been successful, some of them have not been. <laughs> and I started this channel for my hobby with cars, to enjoy building a car, documenting it, and really nothing more than that. And well, I kind of burned myself out with making YouTube videos. I just made way too many videos. Not necessarily on this channel, but on a lot of different channels, I made way too many videos in total. Probably over a thousand videos. You know, every single day I uploaded a YouTube video since like 20, I don't even know, 2018, 2017. So you can obviously see that I needed a break at some point and I had to cut at least one of my channels off and uh, ended up honestly cutting a lot of them off. So. Uh, I just took a break and just kind of stepped away because also at the same time, I kind of fell out of love with cars. I don't really know how to explain that. I really, really love motorsports and racing, but the whole modifying cars thing uh, really wasn't hitting for me for a while. I just got bored of it and I didn't really want to do it. And so I had all these leftover mods for my car and I just never really did anything with them. And so. Uh, I just kind of stopped making videos and then one week turned into two weeks and two weeks turned into four weeks and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, I think it was actually really good that I did that because it kind of made me uh, just miss the old days and reminiscing on a lot of my older videos and enjoying that type of thing. And uh, I think that video that I made a while ago, I forgot what it was titled, but it was like I need to talk about something or something I wanted to get off my chest for a while. I don't remember what the title is, but I talked about a lot of this in there and uh, it really was um, a good thing for me to step away and take a break because it, it just kind of brought me back into um, why I enjoyed cars so much and I think the biggest thing is that I just need to not really focus so much about um, making YouTube videos and more about recording when I'm just enjoying working on a car or modifying a car or driving it. Doesn't have to be every day. <laughs> Doesn't have to be this routine of trying to become a professional YouTuber. It just has to be me documenting my my journey and enjoying it. And I think the videos will be much better that way and it'll come across in the videos much better that I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick little test of what the exhaust sounds like. Probably gonna take the silencer out. Uh, but I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to throw one last clip in here. This is actually after I uh, just drove. This is what it looks like without the silencer in. Uh, I don't know if I ever went up close, but it is a burnt tip, so it actually looks quite nice. But I think this is just much more uh, attractive of a look when it comes to the actual exhaust itself. The silencer was very bright and silver, so that's what everything looks like in there. Um, hopefully that eliminates the rattle the next time I drive it. But yeah, that was today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make an update talking about what happened with the car and what happened with the channel. And so that's everything. I'm really happy with the state that it's in right now, exterior wise and all of the mods with the wheels, the brakes, exhaust and all that. Everything's working good except for the engine uh so i obviously need to take care of that i have lots and lots of mods that i've bought for it that i have just not thrown in because i really just don't have the time at the moment but i will get to that in the future eventually maybe i'll do a video talking about those mods anyways this is truly the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much and i'll catch you in the next one peace out